All right, guys, whenever you're ready to start going, this is Nate Roberts. Hey, Nate, just how um, upsetting is this? Is this sort of first game here? Um, it's tough. Uh, you know, a lot of credit, got to give a lot of credit to Northern Illinois. They came here, played hard, um, executed what they needed to execute. Um, we have to, you know, it's one step of the way. Uh, it's tough to lose at home first game, but it's a long season. Uh, we can't dwell on this one game. We just got to learn how to get better. Learn what we can do. It's a quick turnaround. We got a game Thursday, so it's just tough, though. What allowed you to have so much success on the boards in the second half? Because you got 16 rebounds in the second half. Just what allowed you to have so much success? Uh, I just knew... It was winning time. It, whatever I could do to contribute to winning, um, that's what I. That's what was my mindset going into the second half. Uh, sitting out for the first half because of foul trouble, uh, I knew I had to get in there and make an impact some way somehow. So that was my mindset. Hey, just any er, er, early thoughts on your offense and just the things that's happening on that side of the ball? Um, just letting the game come to me. Um, we have a lot of great weapons on offense. Uh, I'm just a piece of the puzzle, uh, not really rushing things. Um, I think once the ball gets in my hands, being able to be smart, be patient, uh, make the right play, either if I take it in or pass it to a good teammate, um, doing things like that. But I'm not really worried about it uh, too much. I know it's going to come. It's a long season, so I got time. And, and, and then I guess as a team, is there a concern about the offense? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's it's just real early. Uh, we're still getting used to playing against other teams, uh, other teams scouting us. Um, so we got a lot of things we got to fix, a lot of things we got to work on, uh, get better at. But I think it's going. It's all going to come to well. So we got a long season, so we're going to be good. The three point shooting defense is kind of working you guys too to get better. Is that rotations? Is that man on? Um, I think the biggest thing is just identifying the shooters. Um, we came into the game knowing that um, Hankerson was a, a three-point shooter, a good three-point shooter, and then uh, Zul, but he, I don't think he got that much minutes today. Uh, but just identifying those guys, uh, I think doing a better job at that um, and rotations, things like that, getting a hand up, and just knowing where they're at on the floor because you know those things can hurt you at a clutch, crunch time of the game. So just knowing that and being aware of that and just getting better at that, I think we'll be fine with that. Hey, um, obviously things turn in the second half when you guys went with the press. Just the things that were working with that were what? Uh, just the intensity and the energy, the the ball, the, in, the intensity of uh, our defense, uh, sliding our feet, um, making stops, turning them over, rushing them. Uh, that was the biggest key. I think that we, our goal was to speed them up, and the team likes to be pressed. Um, so just speeding them up, getting the ball back in our hands as much as possible, uh, trying to you know have more possessions than they do. Uh, that was the biggest key for us turning around in the press. So I think it's going to be good for us throughout the season. On offense, did you feel like you got the looks that you needed that you just didn't execute? I mean, um, I think just the flow of the game of how it went, I think it was more of a, you know, drive our lanes, keeping this floor space and open. I think if we would have fed it in the post a lot, they would have collapsed, as you saw in the second half when they came and double teamed me. Uh, so just opening the floor, I think it was just more game planning. Um, but I'm not really worried about the touches right now. I just want to win. I'm just trying to turn this around and win. So that's the biggest thing I'm worried about right now. Yeah, in the uh, game, did you know that you had 19 boards and was, you know, sort of getting close and creeping to, you know, or a really good number there? No, I didn't. I didn't. I, to be honest, I really didn't know until Coach Hop came in after the game and said something about it. But I really didn't know. So, yeah. Nate, let me go back to my question. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. My question was regarding the team. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. know I want you, but yeah. in my mind, I was thinking the team. Did okay. you all feel that you got the looks uh -huh. that you know that you wanted and just didn't execute? Yeah, I think I think we got the looks that we wanted. Uh, it's just a matter of the ball going in the hoop. I think our percentages were not the best that we wanted it to be um, all around with uh, field goals and three-point percentage and free throws. So I think just getting reps up, getting our legs back under us. Uh, it's been a long week of practice, so just getting back to those things. Um, but we got the right looks. We just The ball just didn't go in for us, and it went in for them. So I think those are just the course of the game, and we can't really control whether the ball goes in or not, but we can control our energy, our defense, our intensity, things like that. So learning those things, getting better at those things, I think – We'll be fine for Thursday. You think that this team needs to learn how to win? 
Uh, as a unit right now, yeah, I think because we're a new we're a new unit, we are a new team. So winning together as the people that we have on our team is going to be big for us. Uh, I think once we get one under our belt, we'll be able to see build our confidence back up. Um, but this team is really capable. Um, we're not going to let this dwell us uh, going throughout the season, especially going throughout Thursday's game. So we're going to be good. We're gonna, it's going to be fine. We're going to turn around. We got we got experience. We got guys who've been in college. We got guys who've learned how to win and things like that. So we're going to be fine. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, Ask what? 75 shots tonight. Were you okay with the shot selection you had? Is that way too much? Or? Well, we want to get, you know, I, I felt like the quality of shot was bad. I felt like, uh, you know, we were able to get into the paint. We wanted to get in the paint. We wanted to go to the foul line. And, um, you know, there were a lot of kickouts. They had 12 block shots or 14 block shots. We were challenging big guys and not kicking it out. Um, we kept trying to reinforce it. Uh, to try to get the ball out and get some good looking threes. But uh, we didn't didn't get there. Hey, um, aside from Torrell, do you have a sense as to where the points are, are going to come from? Well, I think the, the two biggest factors, you know, good question, Percy. I think the biggest thing is, we, you know, we got to the line. We got to the line 15 times, and I think, you know, we missed five one-and-ones, and we missed 50, or overall we missed 15 foul shots and missed five one-and-ones. That obviously has to improve. On the defensive end, we tried to keep it five threes or less, and they made 12. It's one of our staples. And I felt like we, you know, lost Hankerson, obviously. Um, there's been very few guys that have been able to get hot against us, especially in our zone. Uh, we got to do a better job there. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're, you know, I've got to go back and watch a little bit. But, you know, Emmett, I got to see how many, you know, what, what of the 12 shots were, you know, bad or rushed. I just felt like there was a lid on the basket for a lot of them. Um, and I, I do believe that, you know, we'll be able to get better shots when we get into that paint if we're kicking it out rather than trying to challenge these guys. And, uh, you know, ch challenging shot blockers. You know, Nate Roberts was, if it wasn't for him, could have been a long night. I mean, he was on the glass. He was he was a beast tonight. Uh, but we got to, the other guys got to step up. You know, our top guys can't go, you know, one for 10, two for 12. You know, they just can't. You know, we've, we've got to be better than that. Bottom line. Mike, how much of that do you chalk up to the idea that this is such a new group? That's coming together. Or, or I don't buy. I don't buy. I don't buy that. I think uh, you know we had we played a couple uh, preseason games. You know we've we've had good practices, some scrimmages where we really share the ball and we're getting in the paint. I think sometimes we, you know, you get a little bit you get a little bit anxious and you get a little bit tight, and, and that happens. We got to be we got to be uh, we got to be more relaxed. We got to share the ball. Uh, we want our guys to be aggressive and get in the paint, but. You know, nobody on our team, and I kept reinforcing it. We don't have one player on our team that you can just say, "Hey, here's the ball, and let's go score." We've got this has got to be this has got to be a team effort. And uh, uh, but you also got to give Northern Illinois a lot of credit. I mean, they're big, they're physical. Uh, Hankerson had a hell of a game, making threes from all over the place. When we made our runs, you know, we got it. We we uh, took the lead, and we threw the ball away, and then we missed a dunk. You know, and then it could have been three or five, and then they come down, we press, and they hit a three. You know, they made some timely threes when they broke the press. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously on the defensive end, giving 12 for 23 from the three-point line is just unacceptable for, for us. Any more questions? Could I just one more, Mike? When you giving up, that, is that a rotational thing on the outside? You, you, you know what? And again, it's yes. And what happens is, is because we were pressing and we were playing man and we were playing in zone, that there was some confusion sometimes, especially when they got tired. I didn't go deep into the bench tonight. Um, and, uh, and I think that had a little bit to do with it. And, uh, you know, there's a difference between, you know, we always say there's a difference between taking away a three or saying I contested a three. And certain players, you say, I'm taking away the three. 
And so, yes, there was breakdowns defensively. There was lack of awareness of where Hankerson was. I mean, he had 28 of their 31 points, and he was the number one guy on the scouting report. And we've got it's, it's a team effort. It's all about team defense. It's acknowledgement. It's awareness. It's communication. It's this is where he is. And with that, I, like I told the guys, we have to execute. If we a- execute the plan, we will win. Uh, if we don't, you see what happens. You know, college basketball is funny. It's a, uh, you know, you just gotta you just gotta play better and be more aware. Do you think you guys need to play then? Fewer defenses and just do them better. Or I, th- I, you know what? I, it's it's interesting, Percy. The thing that we're figuring out is how are we going to score, right? And then number two is is how are we going to defend? Sometimes, it, you know, to get these guys some rhythm, we try to switch it up a little bit to get their bodies going, so you know we can create some stuff in press. And I thought we did that tonight. We we you know press got the crowd involved. Uh, we were able to get some baskets out of it, but we got to be able to do both. You know, we got to be able to. Just do, I think, two of them. We get in that, good, pull it back, you know, set up our defense. But our half-court traps and our out of our zone were pretty good for the most part, but uh, too many breakdowns and not enough awareness on Hankerson. With only one day before the next game, how much can you get done in one day? Listen, it's a, you know, and again, this is on me. That team played harder than us in the first part of the game. They played harder than us. And that's unacceptable. They played harder. There was loose balls. We didn't get them. They got them. We got to do it from the get-go. They gotta, we got to be tougher. We weren't tough enough from the beginning of the game. On our home court, not acceptable. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you.